Hey guys, Windows 8 Team Hacks here, and I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 technical preview. Now, um, let's get started. We're going to enter the internet browser and then just enter Windows 10. and uh, go to the Windows Insider program and then sign in alright once you're signed in let's just go ahead and um, scroll down a little bit here and click on get started click on join now and then accept the terms and then click on install Windows 10 technical preview once that is done just um, go ahead and enter Windows update and check for updates and just make sure that there's no important updates available and then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on um, download and then click save once it has been completed um, just go ahead and attach it I'm going to be Attaching the ISO image now. Once you have it in your media disk inserted or your ISO image mounted, click on Run Setup. Under user account control, select yes. From here, you can just close out of the um, browser once you have copied the key. Select I accept. And then I'll check for updates. Once it's ready to install, it will just let you know what uh, is going to happen. It's going to install the Windows Technical Preview, and it will keep your Windows settings, your personal files, that means your videos, pictures, documents, like tech documents or Word documents. It will save everything like that. And when it says it will also save, keep, um, and apps, um, that means your applications like Photoshop, um, any editing software that you may have or any video games possibly and um, once you're okay with that just click on install and then the process will start to um, install the Windows technical preview now this uh, may vary for you um, depending on your computer it may take about 30 45 minutes to maybe possibly an hour hour and a half depending on your PC specs of course
All right, now that the settings it has been successfully installed, let's just go ahead and click on Use Express Settings. And uh, I'm going to create a local account, so I'm going to click on Create a New Account. And then continue using my existing account. And that will just use the previous account name. I found it odd that Microsoft buried it beneath that and everything and instead of keeping it as keep um, use local account. Alright, and that is it. This has been brought to you by Windows 8 TM Hacks. Like, comment, subscribe.